In your own personal life, you may not perceive anxiety in someone, even if you believe you've never experienced that feeling before. Each individual experiences anxiety in distinct ways, making it difficult to align your idea of it with another person's experience. Therefore, it's crucial to always keep in mind the importance of understanding, as we never know what struggles others may be facing when they are alone. If you are facing anxiety, know that you are not alone on this journey of challenges. Anxiety is a common part of life and serves as a warning for potential dangers, preparing us for various situations. However, it's important to know that there are different types of anxieties, one of them being agoraphobia, a topic we will address in this video. What is agoraphobia? Agoraphobia is characterized by a fear of specific places or situations where escape might be challenging or where panic or anxiety symptoms could occur. This fear leads individuals to engage in avoidance behaviors, limiting their activities and relying on companions for support. It often develops in certain situations, leading to anxiety about encountering them again. After experiencing panic attacks, agoraphobia significantly impacts daily life causing difficulties in work, school, social events, and responsibilities. It can occur alone or be associated with panic disorder. How Identify People with Agoraphobia Disorder Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder characterized by an intense fear of situations where escape may be difficult or help may not be available. Individuals with agoraphobia avoid crowded areas, open spaces, and public transportation, fearing feeling trapped or unable to leave easily. Common signs include avoiding specific places, a fear of being alone, panic attacks triggered by feared situations, dependency on others, social isolation, and interference with daily life and social interactions. How People with Agoraphobia Disorder Handle Their Emotions Strategies for coping with emotions in agoraphobia and anxiety include seeking professional help, such as therapy, to manage emotions through cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Breathing and relaxation techniques can reduce anxiety, while mindfulness and meditation promote emotional regulation. Gradual exposure through systematic desensitization helps confront feared situations. Challenging negative thoughts related to agoraphobia lessens their impact. A supportive environment with family, friends, or support groups can provide emotional support. Self-care activities like exercise, a balanced diet, and hobbies contribute to emotional well-being. In some cases, medication like antidepressants or anti-anxiety drugs may be prescribed. Setting realistic goals and practicing patience are important in the recovery process. How Interact with People with Agoraphobia Disorder Interacting with people who have agoraphobia requires sensitivity and understanding. Be patient, non-judgmental, and supportive, as each person's experience with agoraphobia may vary. Respect their boundaries and personal space and avoid pressuring them into uncomfortable situations. Be a good listener, educate yourself about agoraphobia, and offer support without criticism. When planning activities, consider their anxiety triggers and offer to accompany them if they are willing. Be flexible with plans and celebrate their progress, encouraging them to seek professional help if needed. Remember that agoraphobia is a mental health disorder and offering empathy and compassion can make a difference in their journey. Lastly, maintain open and honest communication. Ask them how you can be of help and listen to their preferences and needs. By being understanding and compassionate, you can create a supportive environment that aids their recovery journey. How the social media can affect this disorder the influence of social media on people with agoraphobia is a double-edged sword, presenting both positive and negative aspects. Social media platforms offer individuals with agoraphobia the opportunity to connect with others facing similar challenges. This sense of belonging and understanding can provide emotional support, empathy, and shared experiences, 
which can be beneficial in coping with the condition. Reputable mental health sources on social media can share educational content and coping strategies for dealing with anxiety and agoraphobia. This information can empower individuals with valuable tools to handle their emotions effectively. Social media can trigger feelings of inadequacy or the fear of missing out, FOMO, in people with agoraphobia. Seeing others participating in social activities or traveling to different places can reinforce the sense of being limited by the condition, leading to increased anxiety and self-doubt. Spending significant time on social media can inadvertently reinforce avoidance behaviors. People with agoraphobia may resort to social media as a way to avoid situations that trigger anxiety outside of their comfort zone, perpetuating the avoidance cycle. While social media provides a form of connection, it may not fully satisfy the need for in-person interactions, which can be crucial for overcoming agoraphobia. Relying solely on online interactions can lead to increased social isolation and hinder progress in managing agoraphobia. Social media exposes individuals to triggering content, such as news about public events, accidents, or crowded places which can exacerbate anxiety and avoidance tendencies in those with agoraphobia. Strategies to minimize the negative impact, limit social media exposure, individuals with agoraphobia can reduce the time spent on social media, especially if it exposes them to triggering content or reinforces avoidance behaviors. Moderation is key. Ultimately, the impact of social media on agoraphobia varies from person to person, if social media significantly affects anxiety and agoraphobia symptoms, seeking guidance from a mental health professional is essential. Incorporating a comprehensive treatment plan, which may involve therapy and or medication, can help individuals with agoraphobia work towards overcoming their fears and improving their overall quality of life. Did you find this video enlightening? If you have any tips about your journey towards thinking introvert, share them with us and let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Goodbye.